Other major story breaking overnight, the House passing a bill to send four and a half billion dollars in humanitarian aid to the border after reports of children being held in deplorable conditions. This comes as the acting head of Customs and Border Protection abruptly resigns. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman is in Clint, Texas with the latest. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Michael. This facility behind me is considered the worst of the worst. Lawyers we spoke to who've gotten access inside say that children as young as five months old were left hungry. Kids left in their filthy clothes for weeks at a time, denied soap and toothbrushes. And now we're hearing that 100 children are being transferred back here. All of this as we're learning about all this turmoil, rattling customs and border protection, getting its third chief in less than three months. As we learned that over a hundred children were transferred back to a border patrol station likened by a doctor to a torture chamber, overnight lawmakers in the House managed to pass a $4.5 billion emergency funding bill to provide humanitarian aid. That facility here in Clint, Texas held hundreds of children as young as five months old. Many left hungry, denied even showers and soap. Now, the president is distancing himself from John Sanders, the outgoing CBP chief who was appointed just two months ago. I don't think I've ever spoken to him, actually. No, we have some very good people running it. John Sanders saying in May, Children should not have to sleep on the ground huddled under Mylar blankets. We can and we must do better as a country. Sources tell ABC News Sanders' resignation had nothing to do with allegations about horrific conditions reported at some Border Patrol stations. Hope Fry led a group which recently visited two Border Patrol facilities in Texas, saying they were appalled by what they saw. They're sleeping on a concrete floor in a cage packed with other children, that there's not enough room to lay down. One child was sleeping with her niece wrapped in this aluminum foil to protect her from the stench. The CBP has denied most of the allegations, telling us they work to provide the best care possible for those in our custody. The agency announcing earlier this week that it removed 250 children from that Clint facility before bringing 100 back. I am shattered by what I see. I despair for the children there. I am profoundly worried about it. There are currently about 13,500 children in U.S. custody. Now, Amy, I just want to give you a sense of how unsanitary conditions are inside some of these facilities. Hope Fry, who you just heard in our piece, she visited a single facility once and contracted influenza A, had to be hospitalized for three days. Now, Customs and Border Protection says there might be some good news. The number of children in its facilities has been reduced from about 2,500 to about 1,000 this week. Amy. All right, our Matt Gutman at the border. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.